Average of August, which means the school year is approaching quickly. With the possibility of a recession, school supplies could become a hefty expense for some families. WHO 13's Justin Cernity explains how a church in Des Moines helps shoulder some of that stress. The summer may be winding down, but at Hope Fest, the excitement for school is back. You guys are ready for going to school, right? You guys go to school, you're going to have a straight A's. Hundreds of families flocked near Drake Park as Des Moines Church, Palabra Viva, Iowa, hosted their annual back-to-school celebration. We're here to bless our community. That's the intention behind it. From 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. Saturday, the predominantly Hispanic church provided face painting, bounce houses, popcorn, free household items, and free haircuts to all. You don't have to be a Latino, you don't have to be a Hispanic. It's extended to everyone, any race, anybody can come. We're just, we just want to bless you. <laughs> For Carolyn Kane, a single mother of two, there was no hiding the main attraction. So it was nice to come out, get them a backpack and surprise them. Free backpacks filled with school supplies. It motivates us because we know that we're impacting. You know, we're blessing our kids and just to see a smile when we give a backpack to them, that just warms our heart and we understand that that's what we're called to do, to bless the community. The National Retail Federation estimates that the average U.S. household will spend over $800 a piece on this upcoming back-to-school shopping season. Now in year seven, Hope Fest has helped alleviate at least some of the burden for parents. I'm off work for the past month because of surgery and then we're moving, so I actually was stressing out about getting their stuff and looking for some um, free help that would help with getting both of their backpacks this year, so it was actually nice. Blessings that will soon bloom into a bright future for young students. It's a very loving community and it just motivates us to do it even bigger next year. Thank you, Justin. This is an annual tradition for the church. Hope Fest happens every year on the last Saturday in July.